Alvarinho, por que no? Uh, <laughs> Alvarinho is a lovely grape, uh, not so widely known in the U.S. Uh, it originates, of course, in, uh, in Galicia. Uh, if you're Spanish, it's a Spanish grape. If you're Portuguese, it's a Portuguese grape. But um, I can say without fear of contradiction that it's Iberian. Um, typically, it's grown in, a, in a granitic soils. Um, it tolerates um, a high degree of humidity and rain, so it's fairly bulletproof in that regard. Um, and oddly enough, uh, counterintuitively enough, it really seems to be uh, quite transportable and, and uh, you can grow it in, in other areas of the world uh, that are climatically quite different. As long as it's more or less cool enough, I think you can produce a, a very typical um, Albarino. Uh, I'm not, I think you can grow it in a range of different soils, um, but you just need a cool enough site to retain the natural acidity. But it's beautiful, beautiful grape. What's it like to work with? It's a pleasure. It's a real pleasure. It's a small clustered grape, so the, the yields are not super high. Um, strangely, it resembles Riesling. The, the grape itself is very close to the Riesling cluster. It's got little speckles on it. Um, small cluster, uh, naturally high in acid, and uh, has a beautiful, uh, the wine has a beautiful citrus aroma. Why not? Um, he's actually planning to do small tests, uh, test pots in the UK, and um, the wine it makes is utterly delicious.